Hello, my name's Mark and I am G-Code Tutor. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the planes that we use when programming G-Code on a CNC machine. So we've got three planes to choose from. We've got G17, which is our X and Y plane. Our G18, which selects our X and Z plane, and the G19, which is the Y and Z plane. Now, it's a bit difficult to imagine where these planes are like this, so I've made a diagram. So if we look at this diagram and we imagine our G17 plane, our X, Y plane, that would be the machine table looking down from the spindle. And the other two planes came up in different axes as shown here. So the reason we have to tell the machine which working plane we are using is when it comes to machining radiuses. So we can machine a radius up in the air off the table by using G18 or G19, or a standard radius that goes around on the machine bed by using G17. So that's the main reasons we would tend to switch between planes. And so the machine understands which plane we are using when creating radiuses. So the G17 plane is the standard plane that we use when we're machining profiles flat down on the table. Now, when we're using this plane, the machine often defaults back to G17. If we omit the G17 G code from the program, the machine will assume we are working in G17. But I always like to state it on the safety line anyway. I do this, so after each tool change, the machine will default back to the G17 plane. Just in case I'm cutting on a G19 plane, for example, stop the program and then jump into a different part of the program, it will reset it back to the standard working plane. So always diverting back to the G17 plane on the safety line is more of a personal preference. I feel the programs are safer this way and they will always come back to a position that I'm familiar with as I call upon a new tool, or I start each different section of the program. Now, once the G17 is active on the safety line here, uh, we can switch and change whenever we need to change planes. So when we come to a point in the program where we need to switch to a G18 plane, for example, we would switch over at that point. So here you can see in this section of the program, I'm about to produce a radius that comes away up in the Z axis. So I'll switch over to G18, and then when I'm done, I'll switch back to G17 straight after, so I'm back to the standard working plane again. And while we're in G18, our radius would look like this. It would be cutting along the X axis and coming up and down in the Z. And likewise, if our radius was following the Y axis, it would look like this with GO2 going clockwise and GO3 going anti-clockwise as normal, but it would be following the Y axis and moving up and down in the Z axis. And I would switch to G19 when needed in the program, the same way as we did with the G18 plane. So that's how these working planes would look on a CNC milling machine. But on a CNC lathe with live tooling or a mill turn, we would use these planes to tell the machine which axes that we are working on. So on a lathe, our G17 would be our standard turning plane. Now this is much like the milling plane, this is our standard shapes that we tend to default the machine back into when it powers up. We would use G18 when we're working with live tooling on the face of the component. For example, drilling holes off center in the front of the part using driven tooling. In G19, we would use for side operations. Now by side operations, I mean operations such as drilling in from the side of the material into the center line like this. Now I know these diagrams show a flat bottom slot drill doing these radiuses, but of course we would use a ball nose cutter if we were cutting a radius along these axes. Otherwise we're gonna end up with lots of steps. So that's the three working planes that we have in our toolbox full of options when we come to machining radiuses on our mills or when we're working in different planes on our CNC lathes. Now most machines I've run does default back to G17 and if it's not stated it assumes G17 is live all the way through the program. So that's a little bit about working planes, why we use them and how we use them on both milling machines and CNC lathes. <laughs> 